After watching dozens of Literally Me movies, I was wondering, what is the secret that makes men love Literally Me characters? After all the killing, theft, torture, and most importantly, toxic relationships with women. After all this, we see that all men love this type of personality, and you see many girls attracted to them. Then I came up with the simple answer. They are real men. Hello, friend. Hello, friend. You at least try. You at least understand what it's like to feel alone. We always see in movies this man who has a job and is in good health. And the most important thing is that all women are attracted to those types of men. But eyes do not lie, because with all these features, when you look into the eyes of this character, we can see only one thing, that he is lost in the darkness. All of this leads me to a question. Why would a person like Tommy Shelby, who has all this intelligence and the talent to become a good person with others, but after all of these features decide to fight others, Tommy decides to sell drugs and create a gang aiming to control England. Or why would someone like Walter White, who had a beautiful family and a normal life, turn into Heisenberg, the most dangerous drug dealer in the USA? I always thought, why would they choose this side of life? Why wouldn't they choose the side where they help others? Until I arrived at the simple answer, because they do not want to help others. They only want to prove to others that they are wrong. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get out of here. You talking to me? Okay, Take your hands off. Okay, then just leave. Hang on. All right, just leave. In 1976, Martin Scorsese decided to make an entire film about the literally me character. This film talked about the crisis of masculinity. What does it mean to be a man in a time when there are many males? Travis Bickle drives around the dangerous and dirty streets of New York City at night. Travis is a forgotten and ignored victim of the working class through the rise of capitalism in big cities. Travis feels lost in city life. One day he hopes to clean it all up and become the hero of the city. In the movie Joker, Arthur suffers the same suffering as Travis. He does everything to achieve his dream, but the cruelty of people there bullying of him every day and his mother's illness make him feel alone every night. All this suffering makes Arthur and Travis think, what if I could change others? What if I could prove to them that everything they do is wrong? What I want to tell you is that all literally me personalities have goodness inside them. They feel that they can do many great things in life, but when the truth is revealed, they realize one thing. Their life is about routine. Every day is a copy and copy of the day before. So they decide to change, or to be more precise, they decide to unleash all the masculine energy inside them to prove to the world that they are right. Heroic identity. He starts training like a soldier, handling guns like a cowboy, and dressing up like a veteran. All pop cultural elements that form his idea of a hyper-masculine hero will be there for the people. But in reality, he starts to become ultra-violent and reckless. This hypermasculinity relies on ancient ideas of heroic behaviors, such as being a knight or cowboy, that rescues princesses and fights the bad guys, which makes Travis live a life between fact and fiction. Travis gets caught up in this duality of a man, which is slowly sending him down the wrong path. After watching dozens of films that talk about literally me characters, I understood that what changes them is that they feel inferior inside themselves. They feel that they deserve more than they do, and they do not get what they deserve because of others. They want to prove to others that they are right. They turn from people who hold a lot of good in their hearts to people who hold in their hearts only one sentence, I am right, and I will prove it to them. So they turn into criminals who kill and steal. But the problem is not here. The problem is that they believe they are right, and everything they do is normal. But this leads me to a second question, why after all these toxic men do, we still love them and wish we were literally like them? Now I want to ask you what do you like most about the literally me characters? And what is the character you are most influenced by? I want to know who is the character who has the strongest influence on men. What made me do this video is because a question came to my mind after watching dozens of literally me movies. I was asking myself why I was still a big fan of Patrick Bateman. After all the sick killings that he did, 
And why did I pity Keller Dover from The Prisoners after all the crazy things he did, including kidnapping and torture, and all of this without any evidence? And then I realized that they were doing what all men want to do. Some people may think, I am a man, but I do not want to kill or do crazy things. But the idea is not about killing or doing crazy things. But the idea is that they are doing something only real men can do. To sacrifice when the situation requires it. Do what do want to do, even if all the world stands against you. These actions will make all men love all literally me personalities. Keller Dover showed us how a normal man and a religious person who loves his family can turn into a devil who is willing to do anything to get his daughter back. But despite all the wrong things he does, we still love and pity him for everything he does. And every time I see Mr. Dover, I say to myself, wow, he is a fucking man. Because when I see him tell his wife that, I will do anything to get our daughter back, and then he goes and kidnaps a suspected person whose mind is like the mind of a 10-year-old child without any evidence strong. He sacrificed his life and everything to get his daughter back. And this is the real thing that men do. The real reason we love literally me personalities is that they are willing to sacrifice everything they have to achieve their goals. Is not necessarily a good goal. Many characters have sick and crazy goals, and yet we still love them. Howard, it's Bateman, Patrick Bateman. <laughs> You're my lawyer, so I think you should know I've killed a lot of people. American Psycho shows us the absurdity of the postmodern era, where everyone dresses the same talks, the same has the same opinions, as the same plastic masks covering their shriveled core. But we have Patrick Bateman, a psycho man who loves blood. The only thing that makes him less nervous in the modern era is not seeing someone better than him, even if it's just a business card. If you are better than him, or he doesn't like you, he will kill you. But even if Patrick Bateman has psycho goals, we see a lot of people on social media whose avatar is about one person, which is Patrick Bateman. The thing that makes me and millions of people love Patrick Bateman, he is ready to do anything to achieve his goal. All he wants is to kill anyone special more than him, even if it is a simple thing. Even in real life when we see someone struggling and doing everything to achieve what he has in mind, we like this type of men. What makes a man love another man is when he sees in this man something that he was unable to do. And many men in our current era are unable to do what they want. We only do what society requires of us. So for me, we need men like literally me in our lives. But why do we need them? And the most important question is, what can the real man do? Now I want to ask you a favor from one man to another man. I want to make this video reach a million views and all the men hear all the words I said in the video so you can help me by writing one million in the comments. Then YouTube will say, I will show this video to other people. Then we will achieve the goal of one million views. We always see in movies that literally me characters have the confidence of the devil and are always geniuses in everything they do. But because they live in darkness, we always find them lost and everything they do is illogical. They do not even know why they do this. And all this is because they live in darkness. But what if they got out of there? And what is the reason that makes them so special? We always find ourselves influenced by everything they do. As I told you, the thing that makes us love them is that they are real men and we always try to imitate them in everything. I'm sure everyone who saw Peaky Blinders spoke like this. I order the Peaky Blinders. Of the Peaky fucking Blinders. I order of the Peaky Blinders. And everyone who saw Godfather spoke like this. There's a man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. I told you, the thing that makes us love them is that they are real men. So we need them in our lives. We need this type of man who is ready to sacrifice everything to achieve his goal. We need men who have high confidence in themselves, and it is impossible for them to give up. I'm not saying that we need gangsters or killers or psychos. What we need these days is precisely, it's just real men. These days we only see these boys on TikTok dancing and doing weird things just to make money. As a result, we see a lot of boys feeling depressed these days. It is very rare to see men feeling depressed. I am not saying that there is no depression. I know that some of you feel that way, but if you think about why you feel this way, you will find that it is a trivial reason. Some children live in wars, their families die in front of them, and yet we always see them smiling. What I want to tell you is that we must act like men, 
If not for ourselves, then for our family and for every person we love. I understand that my words may not everyone love, but as I told you before, a man will do what he deems right. And I will say what I think is true, even if some people don't like it. Even in real life, when we see someone struggling and doing everything to achieve what he has in mind, we like this type of men. So please take the literally me characters as ideals, but only in their courage and ability to sacrifice everything, not when immersed in darkness. In the coming period, I will upload better videos than this video, and each video will be better than the previous one. So subscribe to the channel, and I promise you that you will get enjoyment and benefit at the same time.